what's up everybody? We're back on the dirt. It's been a while, a few months. Um, let's see, uh, fuck, I'm trying to fix my goggles here. Yeah, I haven't been out in a while. Hopefully the angle is good on the camera. But anyways, yeah. I'm out here with my friend Daniel. He's on a, an adventure bike, a KTM. He used to, uh, he used to actually ride a, uh, a, a Dyna. And uh, he traded it for a KTM. Uh, I guess he was over like the whole like uh, Dyna scene or whatever. Um, yeah, he's actually one of the like the, the people that influenced me to get a bike just from uh, his uh, his Instagram posts and stuff. <laughs> I'm so rusty on the fucking bike. So today we're actually on a different, uh, different path that I'm used to. Uh, this is more like just a normal like truck trail, cause he's on the big ass fucking 1000, so it's not, uh, it's not too convenient to go into like the more technical single track. So since uh, I'm on a dirt bike, let's talk dirt bikes. Um, uh, thinking of, uh, Downgrading, well I say downgrade, but I would think it's more of an upgrade. Get a, um, uh, one of those uh, 300 two-stroke enduro bikes. I'm thinking of getting one of those instead of this big-ass 400 that, dude, that's pretty cool, a little abandoned shack. Um, Yeah, as opposed to riding this 400 that I never fucking unleash because I just, I'm not there yet. It's way too much power. So yeah, a nice old 300, it'll be a little, a little bit lighter, a little torquier for doing the, like, the nice, uh, Uh, single track and uh, climbing some of that more difficult stuff instead of lugging this bitch around. I don't know. That's a thought, but I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. I, I, I want to get for sure uh, uh, fuel injected, you know? Fuel injected electric start because that would be just so fucking wonderful kind of like a princess bike in a way but whatever you know throw a recluse clutch on it man he'd be sitting pretty but um yeah i haven't looked into it yet so i don't know exactly on uh, how the uh the years that i can get all the electric and uh fuel injected because i know the newer newer models run in like the 12 grand, 13 grand area, and that's fucking expensive. I don't want to get myself into debt anymore. So, if that would be the case, then I'd have to wait a few years before I can actually make that purchase. Uh, this bike, uh, I'm guessing I can get maybe uh, three grand of that. So, I wouldn't be. A trade-in would get me nowhere, really, if I get one of the newer bikes. I'm thinking of buying, if they can get around the five grand area, that would be more ideal. Ah, fuck, bitch. <laughs> I tried to avoid the branch and I fucking hit it. Anyways. Fucking adventure bikes are pretty fucking impressive. I mean, he's got the back. The boxes on there, the fucking, uh, he's got a six gallon tank, like, it's got a lot of weight on it, and it handles pretty fucking uh, amazingly through, through this kind of stuff. 
It's definitely a bike that I would like to have, but I wouldn't trade my my Harley for it, you know? That's only like if I can have both, then yeah. Because, you know, it's just the ability to uh, hit the highway and then hit some fucking trails like this is real nice. That's a hell of a cliff. Hell of a cliff. I'm so psyched that a uh, suburban delinquent got himself a dirt bike. It'd be pretty cool if he do some sort of a uh, dirt meetup, you know? Like go like uh, do some trail riding or maybe meet up at a track or something. That'd be pretty cool. yet to hit a track up and it's mostly because I'm scared of other riders you know just uh, getting in the way or whatever getting hit or causing somebody to crash or whatever I feel like that'd be something I do out there so that's the main reason that why I've been staying away from the track. Yeah, man, this this hole is pretty challenging. You, that fucking bike can do it, man. It's crazy. But yeah, we had to turn around. We couldn't risk it going all the way the fuck up there and then not being able to come back down. Ah, oh, come on! I went right for the fucking crack. I'm fucking impressed with that bike. Uh, Daniel used to ride dirt bikes a lot when he was younger, so when it comes to like the off-roading shit, he's 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 really good at it. Damn, dude, that enduro fuck or that enduro, that fucking adventure bike, fucking holes, man. That is a hell of a motorcycle, everybody. That bike fucking handles good. Oh, barely. <laughs> shit. Fucking scares the shit out of me. It's a pretty good hill. Right? <laughs> fucking cave. Dude, this is some nice fucking rock here. A little obsidian or some shit. You wanna make some arrows? Some arrows? <laughs> Pretty sketchy. Not gonna lie. Bro. What the fuck? Hello? Anybody in there? Hello? Yeah. Oh, it's just empty. <laughs> Campfire? Yeah? Yeah? 
pretty cool. I'm sure they drop in through there. There's another one up here. There's probably an entrance on the top. guys yeah so if you um if you're new to this channel and you enjoy uh watching amateurs take on uh not so difficult hills <laughs> or you just like uh watching dirt bike videos or uh harley ridiculousness <laughs> oh fuck the back came up so much <laughs> Then uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.